So for our tibia raise, all we need is a wall. Okay, so this is body weight version, no added weight. I'm sure a lot of us have seen knees over toes guy really help this movement go viral. So props to him for really putting in all that effort. What I'm going to do is just basically set up on the wall, straight legs, butt against the wall. It's as easy as that. I have pretty minimalist shoes on, so going barefoot tends to be easier in terms of, I should say, more accessible for the full range of motion we want to get out of this. So keeping my legs straight, sometimes people will put their hands on their thighs just to help keep the knees straight. All I'm going to do is bring my toes to my nose. Okay, I am lighting up this muscle. I'm not really feeling it yet, but after 10, 20, or 30 reps, I'm going to really start to feel that shin muscle known as the tibialis or the tibialis anterior start to burn and fire up. This is that muscle that really lights up as soon as you contact the ground. If it's running, jumping, changing direction, whatever it is, for those of us that have experienced shin splints, you need to strengthen this muscle. Also, this is going to help just fortify your ankle range of motion and the way your ankle works in connection with your knees and your hips. Okay. So really accumulate as many reps as these as you can. Can't really do too many. And as you can see, I'm starting to bend my knees because I'm getting tired. Try not to, but go until it hurts or for the rep count that your coach gives you.